So what is token bonding curves? Token bonding curves is very, very simple. It's basically a line, a math, a, a curve. It could be straight, it could be curvy. It's just a curve. We call them a function. It's a mathematical function that is on a graph. And to keep things simple, we're looking at a very simple 2D graph. So you have an x-axis and a y-axis, which is basically the x-axis will be the token supply and the y-axis will be the token price. So when I say what token bonding curves are, it's basically how the supply how the supply will affect the price. When the supply changes, how does it affect the price? And this relationship is found in that line, that function that we, we are going to talk about. And it's, it's very simple to use the line to understand the different relationships because we embed all the different properties into that line. And that's where the beauty of math lies. If we look at this curve or this graph, that I, a simple graph, this function is just a straight line. It's a, it's a direct relationship of the supply and the, the price of these tokens. So we look at a supply of 40 tokens. So you draw a line up towards that function, that line, and then you correspond it to, at that point, what is the y-axis? What is the token price? That's 40. So this function really just ties in the relationship between the supply and the price. And this is good because you don't really, you are trying to limit the secondary market from participating because you're not using the supply and demand of the market in general, taking all the sentiments, taking all the expectations into it. You're just looking at your internal ecosystem and say that, okay, how many tokens are available in my system, in my market? And that's the price of the tokens. Very simple, very straightforward. So you're trying to reduce speculation to some extent. And this, once again, is a very simple model and we want to focus on the simple model first. Token bonding curve is just a line, a mathematical curve, that shows the relationship between the token supply and the token price.